Breaking news from Confederation space. I watched as the way too handsome media talking head looked appropriately concerned serious. The Daltari system star has become unstable, throwing off massive coronal ejections, solar flares, and deadly radiation. The dilution people's home planet, Umsarat, has been severely affected. So far we know that their entire space-based infrastructure inside their asteroid belt has been destroyed. The solar flares and the accompanying heat have caused near irreparable damage to their ecosystem. Jane? Volume up. Expand image. I ordered. The smart screen on the bulkhead of the cargo ship's tiny mess hall complied. The pre-recorded image enlarged from 1.5 meters wide to 5, taking up the entire wall and the volume doubled. The off-duty crew of the TCS Star Wanderer all watched intently. Thank you, Ahmed, the matching way-too-pretty co-host continued. This news is over a week old, but these ejections and flares started about 15 standard days ago. I warn you, the images are disturbing. As you can see, their crops have been wiped out either by sudden drought or the massive hurricanes the change in the weather patterns have spawned over the past week. I was shocked at the scenes of devastation. The scorched croplands, dead livestock, floods and landslides were bad enough, but seeing the injured dilutions was heartbreaking. So many of the bird-like people suffered critical burns and the video showed authorities loading bodies onto floater trucks. Most were small. The children of the world had suffered the worst. Damn, look at that! Bob exclaimed with his new Texas twang. That hurricane must be 5,000 clicks wide! It's bigger than the damn continent! Hate to see kids suffer like that, I said. Reports are the dilutions have requested aid from the Galactic Confederation. But so far it seems they have been left alone to deal with the crisis, the co-host said. Stay tuned. More news after the break. Remember the Cascabel colony? About what, 50 years ago? Lost everyone? Bob scratched his scruffy red beard. Men, women, kids. My dad was on the ship that found it. That was a mutated virus, right? Angela Chan asked. Like some sort of super flu? Something like that. Dunno, Bob drawled. I ain't a scientist or historian. I just know it still haunts my dad, finding a billion dead people like that. Seems the galleys are dragging their feet. Their chief engineer, Shikai Lin, said with a cold sneer. Tough luck for them. Most humans felt some degree of dislike for the Galactic Federation and its Byzantine bureaucracy. But the short woman hated them with a passion. About twenty years ago, her brother had been killed by the Tlung High Trade Consortium. The short war that followed had not satisfied the woman. She vocally supported taking down the whole Confederation and its moribund ways. That's a bit harsh. I was unsurprised at her reaction, and though I knew it was a bit useless, I tried to reason with her. The dilutions are decent folk from all I have heard. Not our problem, Lynn retorted. I wonder if the Federation will send aid, Angela said. The Terran Federation was a loose alliance consisting of 52 human systems. The Constitution was written to vest most of the governmental powers vested in the systems and planets the federal government of more a guiding body than a rulemaking one. Only when dealing with foreign governments, interstellar trade, and disasters did the federal government have complete authority. Not bloody likely, Lynn snarled. And why should we? Why shouldn't we, I countered. I mislike standing by while little ones die, Bob drawled. Not like they got much a choice over their government, eh? Lynn, it is one thing to seek justice. We got that when we went to war with the Tlaung Hai. But you just want revenge, and that isn't right. The way I see it, kindness should be the natural way of life, not the exception, I said. Compassion is what sets us apart from the beasts. We have a full cargo of food and supplies those people could really use. Whatever. It is not your call. You aren't the captain, Lynn finished with a grim smile, thinking she won the argument. No! But the captain is his cousin, and the ship is owned by their family, Angel said. That makes him a part owner, too. Seems he might have a bit of a say, after all. I tapped my wrist computer to open a comm channel to the bridge. Davis, you got a moment? Yeah. It's a bit of a dull day. Not much happening. What's up? The captain answered. Davis and I were about the same age and were very close, but we did not let our relationship interfere with the running of the ship. Did you see the news about the Daltari system? It came across the news channels a bit ago when we hit the last waypoint. 
Davis answered. Why? 